Alright YouTubers, Uncle Dave with DC's Adventures coming at you with another plant identification video. Today we'll be looking at the common blueberry. And before we get out in the woods and take a look at the plant itself, let's take a look at the Peterson's Field Guide book and see what that has to say about it. Alright, so here we are here. Let's take a look at what it has to say. So, Alright, blueberries, huckleberries, bilberries, and deerberries. Uh, there's a picture on plate four of a high brush blueberry, common low to tall shrubs, leaves elliptic, short stalked, toothless or miniaturely toothed, twigs slendered, greenish or red, often zigzag, flowers bell like, whitish, pinkish or greenish. Berries with five calyx lobes forming in a star pattern, blue or black, glossy or powdered with white. Typical blueberry shown, which is over here. This is the picture here that they've got. Typical blueberry, flowers, and this is with the fruit on it. And it says, uh, where found, wet or dry acidic soil, bogs, bearings, tundras, uh, woods, thickets, one or more species found throughout flowers April to June, which we'll take a look at in a second here, and fruits from June to September, which here in Maine, it's like uh, July to the end of August. Uh, uses fresh, you can eat them straight off the plant, cooked or dried fruit, and obviously jellies and jams are all great with blueberries. Uh, time of year, summer. Alright, so now that we've looked at the guidebook, let's go take a look at what the plant looks like with some flowers on it and then some fruits. Alright, and uh, I guess before we go look at the plant, let's quickly look at the, this is the colored plate that they have in the guidebook here. It's a picture of some high brush blueberries uh, while it's in flower. And it says here, high brush blueberries. In addition to all their other uses, blueberries make an excellent survival food. The ripened berries are not only abundant, but nutrition and surprisingly filling as well. Mid to late summer. Alright, to the plant we go. And here we are. Here's a quick look at what the uh, low brush blueberry looks like when it's flowering. In, uh, this is mid-May right now, but it flowers from April to June like the book said. Uh, they're just little bell this little bell-like flowers, they're really small. You can see how small they are there, and as long as they're pollinated, uh, each of those flowers should represent a berry. Uh, let's fast forward here a few months and look at the berries. And there we go. There is just a uh, absolutely perfect example of a low brush blueberry. And uh, this is just, you know... Each blueberry site is where there was a flower at one point, like there was in the last video we looked at. It's uh, July 17th right now, so uh, it's been a couple months, and low brush blueberries start coming in at about mid-July, end of July, and high brush blueberries usually finish up at end of July to the end of August, and they're usually picking in August and September here in Maine, but this is a pretty nice low brush blueberry and I'm gonna spend some time picking them. I came out here to do a bushcraft video when I saw the blueberries I figured we'd finish this plant identification video up and try to pick a half gallon or a gallon of blueberries so I'm gonna get to picking. Once again thank you for joining me Uncle Dave with DC's Adventures please uh, subscribe so you can join us on the next plant identification video Oh yeah, talk about absolutely ideal blueberry picking. Um, these are super low brush blueberries. Ooh, they're cold still. The sun hasn't hit these. They're going to be really good. Um, and man, there's just tons of them. And I mean tons of them. They're everywhere. And they're really big. Um... Blueberries is probably pretty, follows pretty close behind um, pomegranate as having the most antioxidants. 
and uh, lots of vitamins. I believe there's vitamin C and a couple other vitamins in there. Um, blueberries are great. Not every day you hit the trail and uh, find a meal this big and this tasty right when you get in the woods. It's awesome. But uh, I've seen them all throughout the woods, but right now we've just hit a pole line. So, uh, you know, signs of humans kind of breaks the wilderness up a little bit, but uh, it does provide great places for blueberries to grow because this is all low brush blueberry right here. Uh, super nice. Super easy collections. <clears throat>